Friends, there is an underlying theme in the current budget as it has been in the earlier years budgets. Now what is that? Make India a knowledge and technology based economy in the next 20 to 25 years. Now there is a subtle shift to being a Vishwaguru or a teacher of the world or teacher to the world. Now we have revered a teacher since Vedic times and will continue to revere for all times to come. That's our culture. Now Akhanda Mandalakaram Vyaptam Yena Characharam Tatpadam Darshitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Translated It means salute the great Guru who made us realize that the Guru and God reside in the whole universe in living and in the dead and that's the theme friends for this Saturday. Let's expand on the same. This is extremely well articulated position the country has taken in recent times. However, like all positions, this too needs investments of financial and intellectual capital. In that context, numbers betray trust. The budget appears only incremental in nature. What with the allocation of education in the last seven years dropping by almost 9.5% of the total expenditure from 10.4%. We live in a technology driven world today. The cyber boundaries are truly obliterated. Though physical ones exist, you know, the cyber boundaries are not there. And all for propagating hegemony. Emphasis on artificial intelligence with three technical excellence centers in the budget previous to the current one. 100 labs for 5G services, National Digital Library for Children are all right steps in the journey to digital transformation. That said, a balance must also be struck between what the technology dictates in the first part and what Vishwa Gurutva dictates in the second part. Budget laying a great emphasis on digitization, exploration of AI and upskilling answers the first part. Make in India requires setting up of Max Planck and Fraunhofer like institutions. Agriculture, defense, infra, telecom, energy, they all have massive stakes in that initiative. The launching of Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana 4.0 is aimed at making lakhs of skilled youth in the next three years for Industry 4.0. Artificial intelligence, robotics, mechatronics, IoT, 3D printing, drones and other skills are all important. They are all job related skills. Focus on agri startups and precision farming can create new and innovative job opportunities. A technology center for incorporating teaching learning pedagogies such as Shavana Vidhi, Manana Vidhi, Nidhi Dhyasa Vidhi, Prashnottara Vidhi, Tarka Vidhi, Vyakya Vidhi, Adhyarupa Apavada Vidhi, Drushtanta Vidhi, Katakatana Vidhi, you know, which all help students understand difficult subjects matter and subject matters through illustrations and stories as was done during the Vedic times is missing that world no? that would have helped this second part of the problem that I stated. Now all these vidis, vidis is a method, all these vidis are still practiced in Adi Shankaracharya's matas that is set up. Now, these, these, you know, in conjunction 
with emerging technologies such as metaverse you know ar vr would have you know empowered the world leader pitch the absence however might hypothecate our vishwaguru pitch to chat gpt like chatbots chat gpt 4 is already on that trail nep national education policy a document that has laudable intent of vishwaguru tua seeks to spend 6% of the gdp on education but the last year spend was only 2.9% and has always been around 3% higher education spend is about 1.3 to 1.4% and technical education spend is just about 0.6% so how do we work with 6 to 7% inflation what would be the real value of allocation certainly other line departments do contribute to education you know through their budgets so the overall budget is much better than the 2.9% shows though public universities you know in the state domain account for 90% of the student enrollment they are no mention except the 20 iits 26 you know triple uh, iits iisc which all get mentioned routinely in the budgets our higher education institutions universities they are very limited corpus with them compared to the universities of the world we must allow them to generate funds in innovative ways money control india's prominent financial and business portal reveals that 23000 indian millionaires have left india since 2014 and that nearly 7000 millionaires left in 2019 alone costing the country billions of tax revenue since 2015 nearly 9 lakh indians have given up their citizenship with a large percentage of nurses and doctors going abroad and 1.8 million indians expected to spend close to 85 billion dollars on studying abroad alone by the end of the year our world leader pitch may need new heroes and new investors and new ways of thinking establishing new research and teaching institutions with smart classrooms and intelligent transport systems they are all necessary but construction of new schools or converting all primary to secondary schools should be prioritized over smart classrooms the secondary gross enrollment ratio just with just hovers around 75% is not something that is very laudable if we would want to raise that number the primary schools would have to convert to secondary schools vishwa gurutva journey seeks intuitive methodologies that self correct inconsistencies within the system all education in whatever form must translate to new job opportunities whereas available markets are getting saturated new markets new technologies such as those based on artificial intelligence machine learning blockchain and so on they are shrinking the base of the employment pyramid which means lesser number of jobs are available at the entry level and most of them lost to automation these are times when age old wisdom and resilience must come to the fore in translating the you know or in transiting the barriers to vishwa gurutva well friends that is vishwa gurutva to you from my end hope you liked it 
and I believe there can be a lot of debate on this and you can certainly write to me on YouTube or on my mail and I will certainly come back to you. Till we meet next week with another episode, I remain and till then, thank you, dhanyavad and namaskar.